Ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting scoop. Trump team sees special master as deep FBI skeptic. This is Axios just today. Very interesting article and yet another negative development for the DOJ, the Democratic Party, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, basically the Democratic Party, because Democrats have, they, they go after the direct political rivals utilizing government. The, everything they talk about is pure projection. It's, it's unbelievable. But let's read this. Raymond Deary's appointment as special master to review records. The bureau seized from Mar-a-Lago was a positive development for former President Trump, whose lawyers recommended him. Driving the news. Uh, okay. Lawyers and advisors to the former president believe Deary's role on the secretive court that approved controversial warrants used to surveil former Trump campaign aide Carter Page in 2016 and 2017 made Deary a deep skeptic of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You might say, well, wait a second, he approved the FISA warrants that were manipulated and um, in some cases fabricated by a person like uh, Kevin Kleinsmith. Kevin Kleinsmith was the bureau official who pled guilty in the Durham Probe Special Counsel to falsifying records um, and deceiving a FISA judge. Well, one of the judges, or at least the court that he deceived, was run by Judge Deary. And so he knows the tricks, the shady and dirty tactics that are utilized by agencies now that just want to go after Trump. Uh, Deary's seven years on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, including during the Page case, is a matter of public record. Deary could not be reached for comment. And so why it matters, a special master, Deary will vet more than 11,000 documents sealed from Mar-a-Lago from both for both attorney-client privilege and executive privilege to determine if any material was improperly swept up in the search. Material was improperly swept up. They already gave back passports. The only reason they got a search warrant is not because the National Archives or the Department of Justice or the Federal Bureau of Investigation was able to actually come up with evidence this man, Trump, committed a crime. The only reason they got a search warrant is because an informant, an informant notified the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Well, every informant, every person that's supposed to flip and sing, from Michael Cohen to the Steele dossier um, uh, subsource now on trial to uh, the whole Sussman debacle with, he, he got acquitted, but he got acquitted because uh, the jury could not see his text message where he literally lied to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. But again, the agents there and the legal counsel, Baker, didn't care. They just wanted to, they just wanted a pretext so you have to prove that there's a deception. There can't be any deception when you have government agents after Donald Trump and willing to just believe anything. And so um, you, have, you have this situation where they're constantly finding some way through an informant, through a dossier, through Alexander Downer and uh, hearsay and gossip that a, a, a person within Trump's campaign knew about clinton or the dnc emails all they need is a pretext they don't actually need any evidence so they get this informant to um to 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 say oh well he has classified top secret intel he was a former president the chances that he had top secret intelligence either declassified or not yet classified but in the process or in some kind of negotiation between the National Archives and Trump was was high. And so the probability was high that he had classified data. They already knew he had classified data in February. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. The issue is that um, they can't get Trump now in a court of law. They certainly can't get him in a court of law. They might actually be able to indict him. They might be able to indict him in 2023 but they're gonna that's only that would only be because they were impeaching joe biden so mashed potato brains will get impeached because he actually did engage in clear violations of the law 
even, there's no doubt the kickbacks, even people on the left acknowledge, oh yeah, kickbacks. That's worse than having a for, classified data as a former president in boxes where the Federal Bureau of Investigation already said, hey, we see these boxes, go ahead and put another lock on the storage facility. You could say, well, it's, it's not above the law. Well, Clinton was, watch the short. Watch the short on this channel. So, I have a short on this channel, and I talk about the fact that it's James Comey. I introduced the Honorable James Comey, and he talks. So, watch that short. And he says, although there's evidence of potential violations, meaning Clinton broke the law, then he says, ah, no reasonable prosecutor. Our judgment is that, no, no reasonable. And so, he says, some people are above the law. And so, you have to always compare the apoplectic and hysterical reaction from Democrats on everything pertaining to Trump to what they get away with. And it's not, it, it, it's called hypocrisy. Whenever you hear the words, what aboutism, yes, you, life is all about what aboutism. If you're jaywalking and you, and, and, and SEAL Team 6 comes and takes you to maximum security prison and you see somebody, you see somebody um, robbing a bank and they get, you know, uh, just a fine and they're okay with it. You're going to say, hey, wait a second. What about that? That is not fair. That is not right. And so people generally run, like everyone runs their lives with what aboutism? Like, what about what that person is doing? Infinitely worse. Why are you looking here? Or um, variations of that. Okay. And so. It's called hypocrisy. If you were to, if the rebuttal is something completely different, like if you were to, if if they were, if you were to say, um, if they were to say, well, Trump had classified data, and then, and then your rebuttal would be, well, uh, the economy was good. That's not that that is a, that it would be something like what about like that's what they're trying to say. It has nothing to do with the actual accusation. There's no comparison. There's no direct correlation between how he, the, the great economy under Trump and the terrible economy now and, um, you know, the rebuttal that you're trying to give. If somebody says Trump has classified data and then you say Clinton had top secret intelligence on private servers siphoned out of the U.S. government, nobody knows how the classified data got onto those servers. And still, Comey said, gosh, you know, no reasonable prosecutor would indict, even though there's uh, evidence of her breaking the law. That's Comey's words, not mine. I'm not, I, I quote James Comey, the Honorable James Comey. I'm leaving it up to him. And so that's a categorical statement. There's evidence that Clinton broke those laws. And I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024. But you have... A, for a lot of reasons, but you have a special master now who knows how these government agencies deceive uh, the courts. He's skeptical. And he's now, he's not going to be, um, he's, he's now tasked with the responsibility of giving Trump what's rightfully his. And also, and I talked about this today in the segment earlier, and also classified data that has been, or de declassified data. So I'm not sure if he's going to give that back to Trump, but he's going to tell the Justice Department and the Bureau, hey, the, all this data was declassified. It was declassified. And there's probably, there's almost certainly a process. He finds the data, goes to the government agency, say, was this declassified? Or, or, or there has to be at least some record from Trump's White House where he declassified certain documents. Whatever, however he does it, He's not going to simply just let the Justice Department read everything uh, and try to and, and, and leak information and um, do whatever they want with documents that Trump rightfully owns. OK, they went there to search for anything possible to get this man on. They can't do it. If they did that with Hunter, what do you think would happen if they went to um, and, and they did that to his residence, what they did to Trump? What do you think they'd find there? Okay, a lot more than just classified documents. Uh, or maybe he might have classified documents. He's so close to 
the vice president and now president. But you'd find uh, things that would lead to immediate arrest, very likely. And so you have pictures, you have videos, you have emails, you have 150 suspicious financial transactions. They're not investigating Hunter. They're finding some way to prolong either an indictment or a plea deal. With Clinton, they weren't investigating Clinton. They were finding some way to say, okay, well, gee, we couldn't find any intent here, even though there's a litany of laws broken, okay? When the inspector general said, oh, we can't find uh, documentary or testimonial evidence, and then listed endless examples of failures of protocol, bias, um, you know, uh, ir- you know, things that were just very bizarre that took place, setting up and framing Trump. When media latches on to that statement, we couldn't find testimonial documentary evidence. Of course, nobody's going to testify that they're, they're, they have utter contempt for Trump. And documentary evidence, nobody's going to write and sign their name. Yeah, we set up Trump, signed all the agents at the bureau. So the whole system was leveled against Trump. Nothing, can't find anything. Now this was their best chance. This really was their best chance to indict Donald Trump. And now with the special master, um, if they dare indict him, they will lose miserably in a court of law. And would, uh, he's like Obi-Wan Kenobi Trump. It'll only make him more powerful. Give me your thoughts below. I should have a live stream tonight. I'm not 100% sure. But share this segment everywhere. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and H.A. Goodman's other channel. I'll be doing a lot more on those channels soon. And um, watch the short, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much.